The Terriers return home after their two-game road trip to take on the American Eagles on Wednesday night. BU was hot early on, hitting their first three shots of the game and getting out to a 20-4 start, led by Eric Fanning, whose first bucket of the game got him over the 1,000-point plateau here at BU. Floor, the only loss to Canisius back in December. Shot clock already down to five. Foreman with a step back three, and that's usually a good sign for BU. And that's Fanning's 1,001 point for the Terriers. It's a very slowed down atmosphere. The Terriers want to get out and run. Foreman finds Scanlon with the reverse pass, and Scanlon hits his first three of the game. Well, after 18 threes, a program. American rallied, though, as Mark Gasparini matched his career high with 19 points as American closed the gap within seven at the half. Like the difference right now in Mike Brennan and Joe Jones, Terriers are subbing four at a time. Mike Brennan subbing one every eight minutes, basically. Four starters about to come back in for the last couple of minutes of this one for BU. Gasparini will take it again inside, and the hook shot is good this time over Max Mahoney. He'll attempt, so if you leave him open, he'll take it from out there. He has hit eight of them, so he's around 30%. This time, more familiar territory inside, and he banks in the hook shot, and Gasparini now is up to 10 points. BU never relinquished the lead in the second half, thanks to terrific defense, as Nick Havner got the big block on one side, and then finished on the second effort in the offensive zone. And it was shot well to start here in the second half. Saeed Nelson gets a double team, gets rid of it to Gasparini. He's blocked by Havner, and then a save by Goff on the baseline. Oh, you got to reward the big fellow after a block like that. That was tremendous going up against the backboard to pin it there. And there's the entry pass. Let's see what Alston does with it. On Gasparini, he can't hit the hook shot. Havner again with the follow. And there's how you reward the big man. Get him involved. That block all of a sudden kind of gets him going. American countered every BU run, but Cedric Hankerson continued his hot shooting from the outside, notching five from beyond the arc, including these two late threes in the second half, finishing with 21 points. Comes up short on the three, and a big rebound for Eric Fanning. He'll start the break himself. Fanning plows into Nelson, leaves it for Kyle Foreman, and he airmails the three, saved beautifully by Mahoney, and Hankerson bails him out with a three. But it all started with the big rebound. Monte Jones cleans it up, and it's a five-point BU lead. Hankerson in transition. Oh, tries the step back three! What a shot! Five threes on the night! BU needed one more big stop down the stretch, and stat filler Kyle Foreman did just that getting the steal and the outlet to Eric Fanning, who put the exclamation point on this one as BU won it 76 to 66. 45 seconds to go. American will need to do something pretty quickly, you would think, in a three possession game. The Terriers going for the steal, and they get it. Foreman out to Fanning, and that should do it here at the roof. The jam by Eric Fanning. For the eighth time this season, the Terrier faithful go home happy from the roof as BU wins it 76 to 66. Joined alongside associate head coach Sean Morris. Coach, obviously this was the start you wanted, but American put a run of their own together to keep this as a game. They are, they're a disciplined team. They're tough to play against all the time. Uh, it's a different style that you gotta adjust to. Uh, I thought we were lax at days ago at times, but we made big plays late that we need to make to win. Well, I wanted to talk to you about the big plays. It always seems to come down to the defensive stops. Always here at the roof for some reason. Kyle Foreman, that great steal, and it just seems like, once again, the defense propelling the offense. That's been the story throughout the course of this Patriot League run. Yeah, Kyle made a big play. Max made a big play taking that charge right before the media timeout. So even times we made mistakes, we were able to come back and get stops, and then Tyler hit a big three and said hit a big three there in the last four minute stretch to really help us. You lead right into my third question, which is Cedric and Eric combined for 38 points. Last game against Lafayette, they combined for 39. This is the duo that you were kind of hoping for to start the season. Yeah, they're, they're what we need. It's a fifth year senior, a fourth year junior. <laughs> They've been through a lot of this, so uh, we've been able to count on those guys a lot. They've been able to really shoulder the load here early on, but we've had other guys be able to step up and make plays too to take some off their plate, which has really helped. You get two road wins last week, back on the road again on next on Sunday. We'll see you then, or Monday, excuse me. Thanks, Rob. Take care. That's Sean Morris, the associate head coach of the Terriers, as BU wins it 76-66. BU improves to 5-0 in conference play, as four scorers finished in double figures, including Tyler Scanlon adding 12, and Justin Alston with 10 points.
BU will be back on the road Monday night when they take on Loyola, Maryland on the Terrier Sports Radio Network.